Joining me now is James Patterson. He's a Shadow Home Affairs Minister. James, thanks so much for your time and your patience this morning. I've just um, obtained this video. I've got it sent to, uh, to me from a trusted source uh, and it's really the worst view is realised in Australia, isn't it? Laura, that's exactly right. That was a very troubling uh, video that you just played and unfortunately it is consistent with reports we've had to police here in Melbourne overnight of a group of young men driving around a car in, uh, noted in obviously Jewish areas of Melbourne and saying that they were looking for Jews and looking to kill Jews. Um, that's exactly what the Jewish community fears from these events and they are unfortunately right to fear that. Uh, we must make sure that our police, that our security and our intelligence agencies are doing everything they can to make sure that none of the violence that we've seen in Israel is repeated here in Australia and that the Jewish community feels safe to go about their lives in the normal way. I want to see a visible police protection uh, at Jewish schools, at Jewish uh, synagogues, at other places of worship because the worst thing would be for these events to be repeated here. Yeah, and often uh, the Israeli, the Jewish community, take matters into their own hands and they have their own uh, private security. Here in New South Wales, we've just heard from police, James, that there is a special protest task force that's being set up and there is going to be more police presence in uh, Jewish communities, such as uh, Bellevue Hill that we just showed you there. Is this happening in Victoria too? Look, not yet, Laura, and while New South Wales Police did not cover themselves in glory on Monday, I am pleased to see that announcement this morning. That is an appropriate response, and I want to see the same response from Victoria Police as well. Unfortunately, we have just the, greater, the same amount of risk that this could happen here in Victoria. Uh, there was a protest rally in Melbourne last night, Laura, where a picture of Hasran Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah, a listed terrorist organisation, was proudly displayed on the streets of Melbourne. That's a shocking thing. Uh, at mm -hmm. that rally, a chant... From the river to the sea, Palestine should be free. That means from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea. In other words, the entirety of the modern state of Israel should be destroyed so that Palestine can be free. These are the views which are being openly and proudly expressed on our streets by pro-Palestinian activists. And it is no wonder that Jewish Australians feel unsafe in those circumstances. And police must step up to make sure that not, nothing terrible happens here. And police are stepping up in New South Wales. I think uh, the New South Wales Premier has certainly done that uh, this morning as well, given that he uh, needs to uh, bring two communities or the entire community together at a time like this. But I ask now what the federal government's uh, role in all of this is. There has not been a National Security Committee meeting of Cabinet convened, and that is a concern. Laura, I was incredibly shocked to read that. When I first saw it, saw it, I thought it must not be true. I thought one of the first things the Prime Minister should have done on Saturday afternoon, as these reports came in, was to schedule a meeting of the National Security Committee of Cabinet. Because it is that committee that makes relevant decisions, for example, about getting Australians repatriated home from Israel, where we know there are 10,000 Australians currently visiting and living in Israel. It's that committee which directs our agencies to provide additional resources for community protection and support. And it is that committee which ensures that ministers are well briefed and on top of the issues uh, here in Australia. Uh, we know from the past, in 2006, between, with the conflict between Hezbollah and Israel, that there was threats against the Jewish community here in Australia. And so it should have been immediately clear when these mm. events occurred that the first thing that should have happened was convening the National Security Community Cabinet. And I just can't believe the Prime Minister hasn't done so. Uh, and just quickly, uh, James, should we read anything into the fact that uh, there has not been a phone call between Anthony Albanese and Benjamin Netanyahu? I really hope that is just a scheduling issue. Uh, I really hope that there's nothing of substance to that. I really hope that the government is doing everything it can to communicate with the government of Israel and to express our very strong support and solidarity in the Jewish state's greatest time of need. James Patterson, appreciate your time this morning and we'll see, speak to you soon.